Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Skyrim. Codename Soap here, coming at you today with some more Skyrim adventure. So, how's it going everyone? Um, today, we're going to be doing a couple little things. Uh, no big deal, you know. Uh, we're going to be joining the Dark Brotherhood. Oh yeah. Assassins, finally, yes. Um, but first, in case you're wondering why this little letter, this contract is on here, it's because we need to exact exact our revenge on Orgnar, the guy who hired those thugs to try to come kill us, to try to teach us a lesson, so to speak. Um, so who is Orgnar? Well, he is in Riverwood, in the Sleeping Giant Inn, and uh, he's going to be dead. And after that, I'm going to go... Actually, before that, I'm going to go buy Calm um, from... Uh, Dragon's Reach. I'm going to go down to Riverwood, um, and I'm going to do all that right now. Um, and before we really kick this off, um, I've made the executive decision that fast travel is okay. Um, I was I was kind of toying around with the, the idea, you know, thinking um, that I'm going to either A, be cutting out a lot of stuff from the videos, or B, I'm not going to get to the point of the video that I want to get to. So I'm going to just fast travel uh, to the places I need to go. Still use carriages for the places I haven't been yet. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, as always, thank you for watching, hope you enjoy, and I'm gonna go, like I said, buy the spell, go to Riverwood, and kill Orgnar, so I will see you guys here in just a little bit when I get to Riverwood. Alright, we are in Riverwood. Let's go kill ourselves some Orgnar. Excuse me, everybody. Damn right, we're alright. May the gods watch over your battle. All right, let's come up here. Sleeping giant in. Here we go. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the dog did not like me doing that. Need something? No, we're good. Hush. 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 Okay. Also, before I forget. I installed another mod, the uh, sound overhaul for Skyrim. Um, so, like, th lots of little ambient noises have changed, uh, noises for spells, some weapon stuff. Complete overhaul. But here's Orgnar. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. <laughs> Hush. I'll put, I'll put you in your cage if you're not good. So... Right now, there's too many people, so I'm, let's see, it's 8.40 right now, and I'm going to need to wait a little bit until people are going to sleep and stuff. So, what I'm going to do is rent a room for a little bit, and then we're going to uh, go to sleep, wake up here in just a little bit. Um, but first things first, I need to take care of this pooch. Let's see what he wants. What do you want, dog? What do you want? Okay. <laughs> Give me a second to do that, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So, as I was saying, gonna get a room. We don't get a lot of travel. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. And we're just going to come over and sleep. No, not for an hour. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's get it five hours out of it. That should be okay, right? Yeah, that should be alright. Most people will be asleep by then. Hmm. Let's close this. And here he is. Well, there's no real nice way to do this. Okay. Some food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. What do you think you're doing? No more. I yield. I yield. Oh. Someone doesn't like us. 
What was that? What'd you do with the gold he had made? I calmed people down. But then he went quietly. We're gonna kill all the witnesses. All witnesses must die. Oh, we missed. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Yes, lie down and bleed. Yes. Die. Die. <laughs> Did you see anything? Damn right. You saw nothing. Really? Until next time. Yeah, until next time. Damn dirty hippie. <laughs> How does he see us? He's like Matthew McConaughey it up right now. How does he see us? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. Oh, man. All right. Oh, courier. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. The Hearthfire stuff. That's getting uh, triggered. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right. Tonight's episode of Let's Play Skyrim is brought to you by Fiji. Drink Fiji. Waters of Fiji. Fiji. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. My favorite kind of bottled water. Okay. Let's join the Dark Brotherhood, shall we? So, what we gotta do... For those of you who don't know how to join the Dark Brotherhood, if this is your first time watching Skyrim videos or playing Skyrim, if you just heard about it and picked it up and all that fun stuff, here's how you do it. Or the easy way to do it. Um... Basically, you have to travel to Windhelm, right here, and go into the Artino family home and talk to Aventus. Um, that's the easy way to do it, and that's what we're going to do. But we got to get there, so here we go to the stables. Then we're going to travel over there, go to the home, pick the lock, go in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how it's going to work. Yeah. You can also like go to different... Um, I guess you say, like, merchants and things like that in inns and stuff. And uh, Need a ride? you can you ask if they've heard any good rumors, and some of them will talk about a boy up in Windhelm performing a black sacrament. And that'll trigger the uh, to go up there and talk and figure it out as well. But we're going to do it just a straight-up easy way. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. Ooh, well, fancy, isn't it? Meh. All right, Windhelm stables discovered. Let's just run over here to the actual Windhelm place. <laughs> and then we'll just go off to the right a little bit. And that'll get us over to the Aratino home. Excuse me, ugly. Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? Nope. Thanks for the info. Weirdo. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Get ourselves some Aratino. Well, no, that sounds terrible considering it's a kid. Let's go to the Aratino. Let's get some quest from Aratino. That Aratino, that's that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna get some Aratino. That's awful. <laughs> Alright. So, you just come up these stairs to your right, take left. That's a sign for a fence. Hello, shop. Anyway, just come over here. They're talking about it. And then here's the Arotino residence. Just go into sneaky sneaks mode. Just to make sure if anyone catches us 
or tries to catch us lockpicking that we won't get a bounty on us or something like that, because that would be terrible. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. <laughs> Just sweet fell over. Mother, <laughs> you've come at last! I knew you would! You alright? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! You, you pretty much said that. The black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you <laughs> came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. We'll just keep quiet. You don't have to he doesn't anything. need to know what we really are. <laughs> so I know you'll, you'll accept my contract. Mother. Contract? My mother, she... She died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! Honor Hall! The mistress is an <laughs> evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's, she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. She's terrible. <laughs> so I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the Kind. Alright, so. Now we're off to Riften. What was this? Letter from the steward. Sorry, did innocence lost. Here we go, back to Riften. I'm gonna get our fast travel on for this one, making this so much easier. <laughs> but actually, we're gonna go to Miss Vale Keep because the Honor Hall Orphanage is r like right next to it, just right there, right next to it. So, pretty easy stuff as far as joining the Dark Brotherhood. Now, once you join the Dark Brotherhood, and you gotta like go and assassinate people that that's where it becomes a bit more challenging but as we're doing that we're going to level up our sneak and then get our 500 time backstab damage from daggers <laughs> so yeah fast travel you're going to be facing it and then just come over here to the right honor hall orphanage here we go Ooh, yes this is one of my favorite kills to do in the whole game it's because girl of the kind is those who shirk well, a not very nice word. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. No more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Oh, really? That might be. Victory is yours. Yes. Oh, yes. Let's get out of here. Someone has killed Grillin. See. The children's laughter, they're like, hooray, hooray. We could do no wrong by them. All right, so back up to Windhelm. See, pretty quick, easy. If, 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 if you know what you're doing, if you're doing it for the first time, and you hear the dark, like the first time I heard about the Dark Brotherhood, on, or at least being in this game, and you could join them and do all this stuff, I was like, how the hell do I do it? And then eventually you talk to the shopkeepers and stuff, and they'll they'll tell you. That's the kind of the intro way to do it. But when you know it, doing it the way I'm doing it here, so much easier. So much easier. Because you just kind of cut out some of the fat. Trim the fat off of the, the steak. And then use it to cook with. Well, grow all the kind. Is she, you know. You know. <laughs> oh, she did. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Yes. Here, just oh. like I promised. This, this should fetch you a nice, nice price. price. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you again. I just love that the way he says that. <laughs> All right. So, pretty straightforward stuff, right? But there's no instruction of now what? There's just this little thing. There's this lapse in time. But the way you, you get abducted and and then inducted <laughs> to the Dark Brothers, you got to go to sleep. Um, I found the at least for me, the easiest thing. You just you can pretty much go anywhere. I just like to make it easy. I'm going to go to the Windhelm Stables. Run right up here-ish. And there's a little campsite. I'm just going to go to sleep there. Because you can't go to sleep in Windhelm. And have it trigger. Don't know why. That's just how it is. Whatever. No big deal, right? We're pro-assassins by this point in time. We, we know what to do. We just go do it. Kill and death. And, and sleep, in this case. All right, stables. So I'm just gonna come down here, go to the right. There's some wolves on the other side of this bridge. Oh, and the, for those of you who aren't quite familiar with it, there's a pretty sweet uh, shrine of Talos right up there. 
Like, if you go up there, it looks pretty epic looking out over here. Pretty sweet stuff. But we're, we're no uh, worshippers of Talos or any of the gods. We, we spit in their faces. All, all we know is death. <laughs> and we're damn good at it. Not dying, but dishing out the death. The D. <laughs> so yeah, here are the wolves I was referring to. There's one down. And two. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought I got him. Uh, swing it. Swing it. There we go. I can't, uh, I'm glad I'm going to be going dagger so I don't have to worry about getting that... That slow sp moving speed of the, uh, you know, when you're holding down the bow, when you've got it notched. It's so slow moving, like after the Valkyrie thing, I'm telling you. Alright, get a few ingredients here, and we'll just make our way up the hill. Because it's not too far away. Just right up the hill, there's a small little, like, town, I guess you could say. Oh, we got some people. What's going on here? Come along, no more Bodyguard. Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Victoria's wedding. Oh, really? <laughs> Indeed. We ever get there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, indeed. If you ever get there. I told you it's the wedding of Victoria Whoop 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 whoop. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, we got a sword and board. Oof. That's gonna hurt us a little bit. Sorry, right, buddy. Our skills can save us. Haha! -ha. Parkour. Parkour. Let's just do this. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, shit. <laughs> I missed. My magic is down. <laughs> well, let's just taunt him a little bit. <laughs> oh, where did that one lady go? I was going to say, I don't want fear so I can't make him run away. Screw it. I guess I'm just going to have to use some potions. Because otherwise I'm just going to be sitting here for ten minutes or so. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to just favorite and use all at once. Really? Man. I'm going to have to take that my next perk maybe into the uh... <laughs> Give me there ought to be a law against them. <laughs> Shoom <laughs> Ah the double tap get them the first what's that shank <sighs> working so well for us Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Hmm. That has actually got a nice little value there. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And a torch. Now let's dispose of the body. Old school. <laughs> I like how swords just straight up in the ground there. Um, ignore us. Anybody walking by? There we go. This should... Well, lots of blood. Lots of blood. Screw it. Naked man. <laughs> Alright, where did the... Where did the lady go? Where is she? Well, I'm sure the winter will kill her. Not too worried about it. But anyway, back to our... We need to go to sleep. <laughs> We're sleepy, Kitty. After the killing. So yeah, you got yourself a little... Uh, like, lumber town kind of thing here. But we just keep going up the hill. And then on the other side of the river <clears throat> is a little camp. 
that we actually come back to for one of the our first contracts, so to speak, uh, for the Dark Brotherhood. So we'll be coming back here, and it's it's I guess you could say nice to discover the the town. Let's take out these mud crabs real quick. Take all this. That. Oh. I'm not gonna die by a mud crab. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh. Oop, courier. Where are you going, mud crabs? <laughs> I just like how they're so slow to move. That's all right. Okay. Th mud crab threat has been squashed. We can restore our health too. chicken <laughs> all right sure that courier oh there's a baby one. Oh, dinked it <laughs> baby mud crabs get treated the same the only good mud crab is a dead mud crab I've been looking for you. got something I'm supposed to deliver yeah Oh yeah. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to do. We heard? Get it on. Get on with it. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. This is kind of the uh I guess say the game's way of telling you that uh the Dark Brotherhood is uh looking for you. Don't know. Creepy fella, black robe, couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So we got ourselves a mysterious note. So what is this mysterious note, you ask? Only the coolest note there is. We know. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. It get, like, I'm get, I get goosebumps every time I see that. At least in the game, not like out in the real world. If I saw it in the real world, uh, I would probably shit myself. Just throwing it out there. Unless someone's just been like, oh, he likes Dark Brotherhood, nerd. <laughs> okay, so, here's a little bedroll. But before I do that, I actually want to discover <clears throat> this town, because this is going to be where we fast travel to for one of our quests. Or did I already discover it? There we go. Ungas Mill, Ingas Mill, something like that. But anyway, ex this exact campsite is one of the first little Dark Brotherhood things, so... Discovering that mill is a good idea. So let's sleep. Doesn't matter how long you sleep. You just pick a little loading screen. And that's how you know you're being abducted. <laughs> if you if you get the normal time, you're in the wrong spot. You gotta go somewhere else. <sighs> Hope you guys are ex as excited as I am for this. Sleep well. Mm-hmm. What? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? <laughs> You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod. Hmm? You know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I wasn't exactly hiding either. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But we there did. is a slight mm, problem. Problem? You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Oh, really? I mean, to murder someone else? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well, 
That's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. Ooh. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, uh, which one? Hmm. Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. Oh, yes. Hold we'll remain silent. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Yeah, then pretty much. Where we pretty stand. much. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. <laughs> okay. Here they are. So, to be honest, it really doesn't matter who you kill. For those of you who don't know. So, if that if it doesn't really matter, why not do it with a little bit of style, a little bit of pizzazz, maybe even some panache. So, we're going to pull out the Seth Lobshot. Hopefully I can get all these in the first try. <laughs> let's let's try it out. There's one. Oh, right over. Right over. Oh, well. Right over again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, screw it. <laughs> right in the veg. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> well, you won't be able to see my hands, but down there. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, Astrid. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? Yes. So why take chances? Indeed. We'll just stay silent. <laughs> when most would speak, you listen. You think. You understand that the only thing that matters is you following my orders. To kill. That's right. So, free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. Okay. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance <laughs> to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. Okay. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence my, my brother. brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll see you at home. Okay. <sighs> so good. So good. It's just one of those one of those things in the game that like as soon as I was like, oh I can join the Dark Brotherhood, it was just ah so cool. It's just so cool is what it is. Alright, so band shack discovered. Show you where we're at on the map. We got solitude right here. Pretty pretty quick and easy to get to. A little run up here. Um, but where we need to go is nowhere near that. We need to come down here to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, which is near Falkreath. So, we're going to travel by carriage. So I'm going to go over here to Whiterun Stables. I'm going to ride the carriage down to Falkreath, and then that's where I'll pick it up, and we'll run over here to the Sanctuary. And I will see you guys here in just a moment. This doesn't look good. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Aha. Uh -huh. I was getting ready to go. I was just trying to get away from the enemies that are nearby. And these soldiers showed up. In their mismatched armor. I'm afraid I don't have any to spare. Fine. If you can't pay with coin, you'll pay with your life. You done goofed. You done goofed. Just 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Up into the hills we go. We're right near solitude. Whoa, there was an arrow. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Wait a second. Let's do this. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, here we go. Hi there. Oh, shit. Missed. I'll let... Whoa, that was close. Let them kind of take care of each other. Where's their friend with the bow? That's the question. It's so cool looking. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Where's your friend? Okay. I'm going to help the one with the bow out. Oh, I don't want to use iron arrows. What am I doing? What am I doing? No, thank you. Nope, not steel dagger. Bow and steel arrows. Just make sure she doesn't come after me. Oop, that missed a bit. Oh, come on. Stop moving. I hit him. Line it up. Wait for it a bit. Nope, shit. Where are you going? Where are you going? Got him. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to Fury. <laughs> that sounded close. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Now, ain't this a surprise? Go after your friend. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Shit. Jump. 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 <sighs> How you doing, buddy? I'll have your head. Damn. He's keeping up with me. He's keeping up. He's keeping up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that almost got her. Don't shoot me. That hit her. Good. Come on, come on. Woo! 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 Get the bow. <laughs> this is where the compass would really come in handy. Alright, which one's left? Aha! Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, this guy's got to be so agitated right now. He's like, it's just a freaking cat. I'm an orc. Why can't I take him out? I missed a bit. Let's calm him down, shall we? <laughs> 
pick up some steel if you want to fight me. <laughs> pick up some steel if you want to fight me. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. Uh, you don't really have much on you that's worth worth its weight in gold, sir. Okay. Here we go. Some stuff I can carry. Um, a little bit of that. Yet a third friend around here somewhere. Sat them way down there. Anyway, not too worried about it. All right, now I'm gonna fast travel, <laughs> and I'll see you guys at Dark Brotherhood. All right, we have made it to Falkreath. Even though we're not going to be here. For tradition! <laughs> Alright. So, now. Just got to come over here to the sanctuary. Just a little turn to the right. And let's run over there. Get ourselves. Ah, It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be nice to have the little bit of armor that they're going to give us. And actually, a nice little handy thing is... If you're a mage kind of character, there is some robes and stuff laying around. Is it right down here? Yeah, this is the path to it, if I remember correctly. Yep. Here we go. There it is. The black door. Ugh. I think I might use this walk up for my... Uh, little opening thing, so I'm going to wait for this to go for a second. There we go. Alright, let's do this all cinematic. Line it up. Line up the shot. And action. Here we go. Slow zoom. I am killing it. Ow! Wow! Wow! <laughs> what is the music of life? <sighs> Goosebumps. Goosebumps when I hear that. Uh, silence, my brother. I just like these other <laughs> options. Um, the loot? No jumps. <laughs> oh, go more goosebumps. <laughs> so happy, so happy, so happy. So happy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come on, loading screen. Let me in. There we go. Alright, let's speak to Astrid. And here we go. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Indeed we did. Just tell me what happens now. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Well... Yet again, we're going to stay silent. Mm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Turn back the silence now, of death for down me. to business. Turn back, I'm arranging a job you for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Okay. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Oh, yes. Uh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Yes. Boosh. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Oh, yes. So we got the shredded cowl, gloves, boots, and armor. So, in saying all that, before we go and introduce ourselves to the family, so to speak. We're going to go around and uh, pick up some goods. The Sithis will increase our alteration, um, but I don't think I'm even going to use alteration, but we'll take it and sell it. Alter wine, a little soul gem. Not much going on there. Another soul gem. Um, what else? What else? Sack is empty. The sack's got some salt. Salty sack. Need to clean it. <laughs> clean it out. 
And then in here is one of the uh, unusual gems. It's right there. <laughs> Boosh. That's the... Basically, no stone unturned is the... Uh, you go to Vex, she identifies it and says, Hey, there's a bunch of stuff. Ooh, hello, steel horned helmet. Thank you. Even though we're not going to use it, but yet again, stuff we could sell. Um, nice little warm, cozy fire. More wine, yep. Got our throne that I used quite a bit in the last time we did this. Night Mother's Truth. Sell that. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, there is armor. Look, well, it's technically not armor, but armor rating zero, with the exception of the cowl. So we'll take all of this. And let's equip. I'm not going to equip all of it, and I'll show you why. <clears throat> so, here we go. Alright, so shrouded armor does. Increases our poison resistance by 50%. Um... Not really worried about getting poisoned, so, meh, no big deal. The boots, wear as muffled and move silently. Oh, yeah. Shouted cow and maskless. To be honest, the at least on Catface Meowers or the Khajiit, maybe as a whole, I don't know, the, the mask, the cow doesn't actually show up. And they're identical, so I'm just going to pick Shouted Cow. The gloves. Backstab does double damage. Oh, yes. Mm. Now, the hand wraps. Double sneak attack damage with one hand weapons. That's where the little difference comes in, because you don't have to be sneaking with this, but it's double sneak attack damage with one hand weapon. So you usually want to go with the gloves, just because the sneak attack you have to do, whereas backstab, you just have to be behind them, even if you're not sneaking. Um, Shrouded Hood, sneaking is 25% better. That's pretty cool, but as you can see, it's zero armor, so that's more for like a mage, uh, you know, no armor kind of character. Robes, destruction, of course, and the shoes, no armor yet again, but moving silently. So, there you go. Simple as that, we're in the Dark Brotherhood, man! Oh, what does this look like on us, compared to how it was before? Not a huge difference, the hood, a little different, the gloves and the boots, as you can see there, a little different, that's about it. N not the coolest armor in the game by any means, but what it does, damn cool. And there's a word wall over here, I want to say it's marked for death, or disarm, or something like that, something along those lines. Um, uh, excuse me, everybody. Do, 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 do. Just kind of taking your shrooms. It'll be high as a kite by then. <laughs> take this, take those. Here we go. Here's our word wall. I believe this is our first word wall. I think. Let's see. Marked for death. Yep. I knew it was one of those I'll just come around doing this just to so that way I don't have to worry about it later picking up all the goods there we go a little soul gem action yes another satchel take all that tomatoes salt piles tomatoes some more ingredients, more, more soul gem. There we go. Oh, I thought they were talking about us for a second. This, um, little pet spider hanging out. Enchanting table. This is, meets our thing, our requirements. Oh, game looked up there for a second. But yeah, so we got nice alchemy lab. Arcane enchanter. So now, let's go talk to... Kazir, or Kazir. But now he's dead, and I Nazir. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. And for those of you who recognize the voice, a bit about you. Three Dog! Ow! Pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're Fair still enough. breathing in a right? few weeks, 
I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. The best of friends? Hooray! You got some work for me? Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more. Dribbling in from time to time. Time I'll to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available. <laughs> to be completed at your leisure. Alright, sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. Okay. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. All right. I'm ready. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. All right. And as you saw there, he can train you in light armor as well. So, let's get out of here. Let's go get these contracts. And then once we wrap these contracts up, we'll call it a day for this video. It's going to be good. It's going to be so good. Get to kill again for the Dark Brotherhood. Ah, so happy. So happy. Oh, man. A little stretch. Okay. So, let's mark all those active, show them on the map. So, here's Narfi. He is in, um, I can't remember the name of it, but he's going to be the last one we kill because we actually have to do some, like, some walking around, some exploring. Um, the quick way is to basically just come from Helgen, and you kind of come up this way where the five million steps are, and then just come down. That's the quick way to do it. But we also got Dawnstar right over here. And then we got the one I was referring to over here at the mill. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to come right over here and get our first kill. <laughs> As an official member of the Dark Brotherhood. Yes. Yes. It's going to be so sweet. It's going to be wicked awesome. And it's nighttime. Ooh. Oh, I thought I saw a shooting stars, but I was like, oh, that's cool in Skyrim. Oh, you again. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Come, Come on, buddy. I'm on the job, man. Let's see here. Oh, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riffin. Another part of the Hearthfire DLC. You can adopt children. Looks like that's it. Got to go. See you in another few minutes. <laughs> oh. Some vigilance. Sendar's mercy be upon you. For the vigil has none to spare. Fine. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. If you say so. Goodbye, ladies. <laughs> Alright, so. Saying all that. We're going to come up here. Get our first kill. Maybe it'll be asleep. Maybe it'll be really easy then. <laughs> but he's just right up here. That exact same campsite we were at earlier. So... Let's see. Wait. He is asleep. Like a baby. Can steal a few things, but not too worried about that. No one's looking. What do you think you're doing? Oh. Shit. <laughs> That did not go as easily as I thought. I like how the music kicked in right there. Crap, now we have a bounty on us. Um. Oh well. <laughs> no big deal. We can deal with bounties. Oh. Now they're after us. Don't want to mess with any magic right now. So we're just going to disappear into the night. Run away! <laughs> it's before why I would dump a bunch of points into stamina is because of situations like this. Just in case I got an assassination or something which did not go as planned. 
we could get the hell out of there. Alright, that looks alright. Oh, let's level up. Now that I'm thinking about it. And now that we're not being attacked. Those vigilants are never there. Oh well. Um, uh, Magicka? No. Stamina. That's what we want to work on. Alright, so what do we got? Let's see. Up in our sneak category. Sneak attacks of bows do three times damage. Okay, okay. Uh, what's the other one? Trick. Uh, the plate's not too right about that. Um, let's see. Illusion. Apprentice spells for half magicka. Yes. Yes, that's what we will do. <laughs> Alright, now, next thing is we need to get up here to Dawnstar, so let's just travel right over here to the stables, carriage to Dawnstar, hopefully this will go a lot more smoothly, even though this is the most difficult one because the chick like just wanders around constantly, and she's never alone, I mean, and when she is, it's kind of like difficult to get in there and strike, so... Oh, a little lag, a little lag. No big deal. Alright, hello, carriage. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Dawnstar, please. Climb and back and we'll be off. Excellent. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. Indeed. Indeed. Good weather to you, sir. Ah. Alright. Hello, Dawnstar. Really? Oh, I thought that was another courier. It's just the kid. <laughs> Sorry, gotta run. Okay, so that chick is usually... It's the mine boss that they were talking about. So she's usually here where there's like a smelter and stuff. Whoop, tradition. Okay. Hey, it's this guy. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? So there's the intro to the Dawn Guard DLC, which we will do. Just not yet. <laughs> I'm not really interested right now. This guy's got fancy. Alright, so our target, she usually is over here. Let's see if she's like making her way around somewhere. Let's see. Where could she be? Let's go check back up here. Excuse me, kid. Get out of the way. Here she is. I'm really not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. All right, Kevin Bacon. Just remain silent. I have a mind to run, so if you'll excuse me. Yeah, so here's the problem. She usually hangs out around here. This guy doesn't do anything. There's a guard. This is this is why this one's tricky. Because I could sneak it, but as soon as I get close like this, we're pickpocket or in the pickpocket range. We're spotted because this guy's all busy doing his thing. Hoeing it up. Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> they just try to sniff us? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see how we can... How we can do this. Jump. Haha, -ha, parkour. Alright. Hmm. Thinking, I'm thinking. At nighttime, it's, you know, a lot easier. But. Hmm. I wonder if we could use our magic to our advantage. Do a little. Oh, is she going away? Nope. Damn. Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> I was thinking we could m magic it up. A little bit. 
And then she's just like, okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to kill everybody in town. That might be the easiest and quickest thing to do. Because everything else, the other options the usual. Like the sneaking and the stabbing. That's so we're going to make it a little difficult. Hmm. See, if it was dark, this would be the easy stuff right now. I mean, I could always get a room. Go to sleep. Yeah, she's going to be working this all day. Okay. Let's get ourselves room. Let's see the inn. The inn. The inn. I think it's over here. If I remember correctly. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Some baloney was talking to us there for a second. Mm-hmm. Waka waka. It's a curse. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. Okay. Hello, ladies. They're just dreams. Please Listen to your friend, Hello. Just dreams, my dear. Hello. Oh, hello. You think that's normal? What do you do? Well, where are you going? She has a point. Yeah, where are you going? I envy you travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. Um do you work here all day? Yes. Ever since my mother died a few winters ago. I play songs and help with the drinks when I have the time. You don't say. Drinks, eh? Those drinks happen to be milk. <laughs> My mother taught me. She was a bard from the college in solitude. So I this is the bard. Apply, hmm. If you're ever interested. Investigate the bard's college. Now we're good. Until next time. Indeed. He's trying to help us. How do we? Everyone how do we get you to follow us around? To end these Let's make that happen. For days, for days, son. <laughs> I, I will. Thank you. Hmm. Kind of looks like uh, what's her face from Walking Dead, a little bit. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. I forget her name. Um. Da -da 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 what troubles you, my son? Hey, you, Thoring. Need a room? Yes. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Excellent. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thank you, sir. Mm. So, so we're going to do kind of what we did with Orgnar. Just get a room, sleep for a little bit. Let me know if there's anything else you need. You can uh, get the hell out, please. There's no door? Can I, can I have some privacy? All right, let's sleep. About... We'll do five hours. That sounds all right. Hopefully she's not... S still not working the mine. Excuse me, everybody. Why is it? Why is a child in here? There you are again. I don't know if I'll ever see you again. But I wish you the best. Yes. You got that right. <laughs> oh, catface! You purview. Can't sleep well, no matter how much drink I put in me. Well, that is a damn shame. All right, let's go see if she's still working. Actually, let's consult the map. Yep, she's still working. Do you ever not work? <laughs> let's see. Ooh. There we go. Hidden. <laughs> Aha! And a thousand bounties. So, one effing. Sp ah, not too worried about it. Not worried. We'll just get out of here. <laughs> It's all good. Shink. All right. 
think we're we're outside of the range. Music's going. Okay. So, next thing. <laughs> next thing is we need to come to Iverstead. That's the name of the place. Right here. Gotta kill Narfi. So I am going to travel. Let's see. Do I want to go the adventurer's route around this way? Or do I want to go the really quick and easy way through here? I'm going to go the adventurer's route. And the usual rule still applies. I'm going to just go there, run around. If anything cool happens, it'll end up in the final video. But if not, I will see you at Iverstead for our final kill. After I get away from guards. Seem to be hidden. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh, guards are pursuing. Uh, okay. Even though we're completely hidden. Well, we're not visible. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm kind of running around in some random places. That's one of the one of the gods, one of the statues, right there. Go check it out real quick while we're waiting for guards to not pursue us. The Bella, how you doing? Good, good. All right. Let's freaking try this again. <laughs> Actually, no, because if I travel here, I'm, I'm going to be pursued again. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Um, nice cozy fire over there. Some giants. Well, let's see. <laughs> Do this, come down here. Maybe I can go hang out with the giants for a little bit. Discover me a location. Possibly, maybe. This doesn't look like your normal giant territory. What's around here? I can I can hear him stomping. Oh, something's going on. Someone's not playing around, son. Bandito. I just got just like Exploded, almost. Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just a furry creature with a tail such as yourself. Okay. I'm just gonna come in and reap the benefits here. They're doing work. <laughs> Which is fine by me. Don't worry, I did not. I come in peace. I promise. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Don't worry. We're all, it's all good. Alright, let's try this. Again. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, okay. I'll see you guys at Iverstead. <laughs> Welcome to Iverstead, everybody. Adventurer's Path. I took it, and... Some pretty cool stuff happened, like... The bounty hunter showed up, and was like, Hey, you got yourself quite the bounty. And I said, Hey, you got quite yourself the death. And killed him. Um, it wasn't like a an amazing epic battle, or anything like that, but, you know... It was it was interesting. I'm gonna do a little bit of leathering real quick while I'm here. 
because I've got a decent amount of hides. Boosh! 29 leather. Let's make ourselves a few strips. Okay. Started. Dawn Guard. Speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard. No thanks. We're good. For right now. But I do appreciate the offer. Alright, so. Our target. He is. Back over this way. There's a poor animal. Oh, not a poor animal. Let's see. He is... Ah, yeah. Back this way. We're gonna go swimming with the deer. Whee! Oh, there he is. Here, Nern Root. We'll take that. Here's our target. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Pathetic existence has come to an end. Do you want something? Look, if you ain't gonna talk, or spare no coin, just go away! Fair enough. We can do that. How about you come back this way? Come to your home. Make yourself cozy by the, uh, the pot. <laughs> Super deer. Saw some salmons. Wee fishes. <laughs> Where are you going, deer? Is he seriously just gonna hang out right there the whole time? Zoom! If he comes back by, I'm swinging. Aw. Got some stone quarry. This is to, uh, if I remember correctly, part of the hearthfire thing, like. Materials for your house and whatnot. Oh, there he is. There we go. I'll take some of your goods. Now, back to Nazir. And we'll wrap this bad boy up here shortly. Thank you very much. Ah. It's exciting times. We're almost we're almost leveled up as well. Which is good. It's good. So good. Ah. Okay. We're back at home. Let's go inside here. Why am I sneaking? And then Turn in our quests, get our measly amounts of gold, and then uh, wrap this video up. Then continue on with our Dark, dark Brotherhood quest in our next video. When everything starts to get interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot. Somebody's about to show up. Our favorite companion. The one. The only. Cicero! It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk Cicero! <laughs> Nightmother's box, ooh. That sounds bad. Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Astrid, giving us the, that sly eye. We gotta wait for them to finish talking, so... While they're doing that... Let's see if we can... No jewelry. Let's work, workbench it. Uh, we can improve some stuff and sell some stuff. Improve our smithing. Some fine shoes. Let's do this real quick. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> Two, yes. Leather shield improvement. Too bad it's not a four strength, four stam leather belt. Sweet. My word is law. Can we improve any of our weapons? Mm, no. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that that axe of Topor or whatever uh, picked up off the uh, uh, what's his face bounty hunter. Ah, huh. there you are. Good. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. <laughs> Her We've eyes are kind of creepy. <laughs> Let's get a little closer. Right then. Ah, there you are. Good. Yes, good. I was done good. That Indeed. Fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. You have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure okay. when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. All right. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. That's my wife. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> Mur Muri is a good chick to marry if you uh, want to go like alchemy and stuff. Just a little heads up there. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Okay. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> All right, let's go turn in our stuff to Nazir, who is probably eating something. Yep, there he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. I would agree. All right, let's turn these in. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. <laughs> Your payment for a job well done. Thank you. Still here. And we'll talk here. Of course she is. I hear the mining Ooh, business 400 is gold. Nice. Not cutthroat. too shabby. And those hours. The murder. <laughs> I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Thank you. And then hunting. He is dead as well. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. That's how we do, man. You are That's how we do. An opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Thank you. Boosh. All right. Go on now. All right. So that about wraps this video up. Let's get ourselves a seat Can't handle what I'm throwing your way. in the throne. Swing this round. Cat face meowmers. All right, so that's going to wrap this video up, everybody. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys later.